Well, <clears throat> today I'm gonna talk about <laughs> well. I'm gonna talk about Turkey Tom's uh, racist past and uh, I'm gonna respond to this because I feel that there has to be a historical lesson that has to pop up once again like I did where the last phase number said the n-word and understandably if you say the hard r n-word which is a racial slur and if you're white and you say that racial slur directly towards a black person especially on the internet then clearly you have a issue with a black person ever since turkey tom released that stupid EDI document about Pyrocynical. There screenshots of Turkey Tom's old DMs on whether it's Twitter or Discord have been popping up lately and I'm gonna read basically the whole thing here oh and by the way I am black so I'm gonna have to read the word for historical context Here, Turkey Tom replied before his Twitter was uh, suspended. Was the fact that my new name is going to be Niggers. I hate Niggers. Then Turkey Tom. Then more of Turkey Tom's uh, Discord. DMs, which says, ah, uh, well, eventually I'll call someone a nigger too. Many times, or I'll bully someone, though, I'll doubt you hate me. And he continued on, like, 11 minutes later, saying, niggers don't talk, they say chicken. And and Turkey Tom replied at least five days later. Don't pretend like it's something for your fans. Oh, well, it's a, just a tip jar for Jews with like deep pockets. And even though he was trying to make a joke at, at that one at one point. Even though he was trying to make a joke. If, if that happened to be the case at the time. He really sh still shouldn't even say the N-word. Regardless. Because of his skin color. And I know he's white. I mean, he clearly has avatar because he's a white person who said it. And... Then he comes up with a stupid response after he, after this tweet here, which says, This guy tweeted 
And he goes to me, basically said, please put your race in your bio. I want to know if you're white, so I cannot interact with you as if that isn't really literally what racism is, LMAO. Then Turkey Tom replied, which had 13 likes, saying, white people can't be racist when you illiterate, ignorant fool. And uh, I don't know how I feel about this response from Turkey Tom when he said that on December 12th. Because his DMs show that he, that he, as a white person, can be racist. I mean, those are Turkey Tom's words right there. He said the N-word. I don't care if you're trying to be an edgy son of a bitch. You knew that the racial slur, that 400 year old racial slur is likely an ins a, the biggest insult to, to black people. And it has a lot of hurtful history behind it too. When you say that word. And I don't think Turkey Tom realizes how bad the N word is. Because he literally shouldn't even say that in the first place back in the day. Before he made a new Twitter account, which is now called SAPT with two E's. It would have been wise enough if Turkey Tom learned about the history and why he shouldn't say it as as the fact that he is a popular figure in the YouTube community and he should take his job seriously and not say these kinds of words. And the fact that he said that he can't be racist uh, shows how much he has not grown from saying the N-word so Obviously, he'll probably continue to say the N-word off-camera when there are people around, or he'll continue to say the N-word regardless. Whether he's in your DMs or not. I mean, it's fine if you say the soft A version, but the hard R version is... Hmm... Not a good idea. I brought this up before in my last video where I talk about the N-word. Which you'll probably see just about now. So I'm going to read this to you. The word originated... In the 18th century, as an adaptation of the Spanish word negro, a descendant of the Latin adjective nigger, which means black, it was used derogatorily, and by the mid 20th century, particularly in the United States, it's usage by anyone other than a black person to come to be generally seen as pejorative, a racist insult. Accordingly, it began to disappear from general popular culture. Its inclusion in classic works of literature has sparked 
modern controversy. Because the term is considered extremely offensive, it is often referred to the epicism, the N-word. However, it remains in use, particularly in the as the variant nega by African Americans among themselves. The spelling nega reflects on the pronunciation of nigger in non rhetoric dialects of English, particularly like vernacular English. Yeah, so you see, the N-word has a lot of his history back in the 18th century. And the 18th century was probably a trick time. Because people back then who, who are mainly white would say the N-word a lot. And when the and when the and when the separate laws happened in the 1930s for black and white people, white people had full authority to use the N word quite a lot. And as bad as as it gets at the time, which thankfully we had one man who changed everything, Dr. Martin Luther King, would want us to, would want all races, no matter of the color of his skin, come together and live in the same areas and today that still exists but most likely today four years later there is racial injustice in the United States and the fact that uh, Turkey Tom didn't really apologize for using the hard R is just really irresponsible. I mean, a 2018 survey found that while the majority of respondents agreed that it was unacceptable for a non-black speaker to use N-word or its derivatives, opinions were not less divided or whether it was truly acceptable for anyone to use the term in any context of a small minority believing the term was simply offensive and thus should never be used. So, I don't know if Turkey Tom has ever even looked at this Wikipedia history of the N-word itself, but I'm going to link it in below if he ever sees this video because Turkey Tom, I suggest that you grow the fuck up already and apologize for what you did. I don't think everyone has heard your apology once. If you're a fan of Turkey Tom, if you stand by his uh, statement that white people can't be racist even though white people did use the armor at the time, then clearly um, you have no business being on the internet, doing things on the, on the internet. And you have no business getting a job at getting a job offer at other places either. Once people find out that Turkey Tom back in the day used to say the N word a lot, then he will not, you know, 
be allowed in any place where it's where it's in, where it, whether it's another job or well whether he gets kicked out of college if people tend to find out I probably know he's still in college right now because despite the pandemic of course Turkey Tongue history is like over the place and the next thing that's gonna happen one day is that someone will probably reveal his real name which will likely happen otherwise And I've yet to find found his real name because it's probably not there right now. But it will pop up one day once people find out that Turkey Tom has a real name and he uses to say the N-word a lot, which uh if Turkey Tom doesn't apologize for that soon enough, then no. People are gonna haunt him with with the way he said the word for a very, very, very long time. And I know that for a fact. Why is there so much criticism for young Turkey Tom? Why do people care about a 16 year old, really? One word, popularity. Whenever someone gains some sort of popularity, it's only a matter of time before everyone jumps on that bandwagon. Someone one day decided to dig through his muddy past, find something malicious that he said, and then try to capitalize on it. And guess what? It worked. Tom said some pretty stupid things. Now there are 50 plus videos on it. So Tom, I appreciate you tackling the criticism head on and apologizing for the wrongdoings that you've made. And hopefully we can all put this behind us and move forward, but I'm not going to. Because it looks like Tommy Boy has learned nothing. Yeah, I made a lot of dumb tweets when I was like 14, but you know, it's been a while. Let's say something completely heinous with no context again. What could go wrong? <laughs> Whoops, I thought that was on my private account. Uh, I'm sorry. Tom, 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 come on. Take ownership, dude. Either you're sorry or you're not. If you really want to be like PewDiePie or iDubbbz or Filthy Frank or any of these people, then it doesn't come with the, but I'm not really like that immunity, especially not when you're turning 18. Playing dumb isn't gonna get you anywhere. I didn't go forward with these old messages to prove that you said it in the past, so clearly you still have to be this way. I did it because after talking to your friends, it's obvious that you are still this way. When you try sh-